should be fulfilled. And then what happened? And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. Earthquakes. Earthquakes all around. Right? The sixth seal is uh, identified, marked by earthquakes. So, I wait, so the sixth seal, er, a great earthquake. Not just a regular earthquake, but a great earthquake. And the sun became black and as, as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became as blood. And we've talked about these before. Uh, and remember, and here's a very important part, remembering the parable of the figs, right? Because in verse uh, 12, uh, I'm sorry, verse 13, it says, And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree cast out her untimely figs. Well, why are they untimely? Because they haven't ripened yet. Okay? <laughs> because remember, what does the Lord say? Jesus said in the parable, when you see the fig tree, right, when you see it and it's and it's ready for harvest, you know that summer is near. Summer is near. So if summer, if summer hasn't occurred yet, then the figs are ready to, they're not ready to be harvested. So clearly if they fall, it's untimely, right? Are you getting this picture now? Okay, so, uh, and, and, and the heavens are departed, a scroll is, as, as a scroll, when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of its places. Now, I don't know if any of you, um, you know, ha are familiar with some other um, uh, disasters, etc., or even, if you can imagine, right, what are these stars? What are these stars falling? What, what do we call it when a star is falling? There's falling, there's falling stars, right? And then if they're large, really big, we call them comets. And if they're really, really, really big, we call them asteroids, right? Now we know we have seen trails of Halley's comet, et cetera, et cetera, right? We've seen falling stars before, as it's so called. We've, um, we know that scientists say that uh, uh, some comets or asteroids have hit the Earth before they believe, causing, you know, floods and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but we also know that recently there's been conversation of some asteroids that we should be looking out for, even though they claim they, they know oh, they won't come close, they won't come close. Well, I think there's a couple of movies. <laughs> If you can believe the movies, right? Because I think some of these things are movies and other forms of media. Um, I think they it's obvious that they've read the Bible. They may not believe it, right? But they've read it. Uh, like uh, like that character with the with the with the fire coming out from his. I don't know who the character is, but some super super character uh, has fire coming out of his hand. Forget that guy. You guys know who who that is if you if you watch those movies. Um, but at any rate, um, well, I, I I know that these people must read the Bible because some of these some of these ideas come directly from the Bible. Number one, but other than that, the scientists, nuclear scientists, or or uh, I'm sorry, not nuclear scientists, but um, astrophysicists, you know, and those kind of folks, they're already saying that there's going to be these asteroids coming. Uh, one that they've given a name uh, that 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 is the name of the some devil or demon, Apophis, I believe is the way it's pronounced, and then uh, which was actually renamed because the one in the Bible is called Wormwood, which you know we've already read, and also I believe in the Book of Revelation. Uh, so um, we know that <laughs> they must have read <laughs> the word uh, because we see these movies, right? But we know that it's possible. And clearly, what could cause the mountains and the islands to move out of their places, right? These great, I mean, great earthquakes. Earthquakes like we've never seen. Because remember, the Lord said that we're not, these things are, that are going to be happening will not have, have ever been seen before. So we're talking about, you know, earthquakes beyond an eight, Right, we're talking about hurricanes beyond with winds beyond 150. You know, we're talking about 
uh, or maybe even 200, right? We're talking about tornadoes that are way off the scale, right? Uh, what is it? F some F scale? Way way off the scale. F5 or F whatever, but way off the scale of whatever we have uh, known before. We're talking about the power of uh, like nuclear bombs, right? Or even uh, what we saw, the devastation that we saw with Hiroshima and others, if you've ever seen those things. We're talking about, so if those things occur then, and we're talking about things that we have never seen before. So now we're talking about something greater than that. How is it possible? How is it possible that the clouds or the, the skies of the heavens will look as though they are rolling like a scroll? I don't know if you've ever been in a really, particularly out in the Midwest, you can see this a lot. Uh, well, and we even have the phrase, right, when the clouds come rolling in, right? But when we, or like in terms of fog, uh, particularly in um, the Bay Area, uh, San Francisco area. But if you're in the Midwest and you're seeing storms forming and beginning to happen, it literally does look like oftentimes that the clouds are rolling upon themselves, I mean, there's fierce storms getting ready to happen, you know, or happening, you're in the midst of them. And they do look like they're all, I mean, after all, if a tornado can spin, <laughs> right, and move, why can't there be rolling clouds and rolling, you know, the heavens appearing as they're rolling because there's so much tumultuous storming going on. And remember, these are things that we have not seen before. You know, remembering early on in this uh, podcast, I talked about uh, the danger of relying on your own, right, man's own uh, uh, ability to 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 um, to picture something, right? Because our minds are finite, right? Our ways are not as his ways are. Our thoughts are not as high as his thoughts. Right? Remember those scriptures. So. Clearly, we can't think or see or even imagine. That's another scripture, right? Uh, we can't imagine these things. But because we can't imagine them does not mean that it's not going to happen. You know, many, this, is, this is why, you know, again, I say it's a danger to be caught up in that. Just because you can't imagine it, you can't picture it in your mind. You can't, you can't fathom it. You know, it's not logical to you as a human. Just because we have that inability does not mean that it cannot happen, right? It's similar to, you know, the idea, well, if I don't see it, it's not there, right? Well, if you don't see the air that you're breathing, is it not there? Huh? You know, kind of like that, that little riddle or statement, you know, if a tree falls in the forest... <laughs> right, but you know, a tree can fall in the forest, and you can't hear it if you're not around, if you're not near, right? So we know that that, that does happen. I mean, you could be walking along on a hike, and you see a fallen branch, but just because you didn't hear it happen or didn't see it happen, doesn't mean that it didn't happen, right? Because clearly you see it. So this is why it's uh is detrimental for us to rely on our own imaginations, our own thoughts, because we can only go so far. Our thoughts and our imagination can only go so far. Amen? So we have to, the, another way to put your trust in God, because when he says something, oh, you can take it to the bank. You can take it to the bank. It may not happen at the moment. It may not happen when you want it, as they say. Remember, right? He, he may not come when you want him, but he always comes on time. Amen? Amen? At your blessings, your healing, your whatever, always comes on time. What is on time? His time. That's another, that's another you know, detrimental error that we get into. <laughs> And that's another way. That's another way, and in, 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 in some sense, that we 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 try to equate ourselves with God, because if it's, if it's not your time, then you think it's the wrong time. But you're not Him, right? You don't know when the best time is. You have an idea, maybe. You have a desire. But we have to be able to, you know, we have to be be able to submit ourselves to His will and His way. Amen. So, uh, so here again, we can see 
that these things are an indication, again, that the time is getting near, and this is talking about the sixth seal. Now, what, what else does it say? So this is the sixth seal, and all this stuff is happening, right? And then in verse 14, it says, And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, get this now. <laughs> so what you just read, those little events, were happening when some people, some people on the earth were watching. Because it says, the kings of the earth, right? And the great men and the rich men, uh, uh, Gates, Bezos, you know, Musk, Rockefellers, if there's still any left, you know, all, all them folks, the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, and the chief captains. God doesn't, God, did, God made sure he didn't leave anybody else, anybody out. And the mighty men, he didn't leave anybody out. Those of you who think you're mighty, and every bondman, bondman, every slave, every bond, and every free man, free, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Now, who, who would be hiding at this point? Remember, we talked about this before. Who's hiding? Who's running? Those people who don't know what's going on. We who have read the word know that these signs that we just read about, these earthquakes, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, are happening. Number one, as God Jesus described, right? He said these things are happening, and they they, they are the uh, the birth pangs, right? The beginning of sorrows. As clearly we can see what sorrow is coming, right? These are the beginning of the sorrows. And for only those people who don't understand what's going on, they will be the ones running and hiding. We don't have to run. We don't have to hide. We don't have to go to the mountains. We don't have to do any of that. Because the word says that the people in Judea have to flee. Well, physically, we're not in Judea and Israel, unless you live there now, right? For those of you who might be listening. But even uh, if you think about you could also think about that, I guess, as being a member of you know, the body of Christ, but he's using Judea. So remember, the name was changed to Israel. So we, we have to be thinking clearly. Right? If you're in the body of Christ and you know what's going on, you would, know, you would not have a need to run. Because you know that in the very next moment or very shortly after, you're going to be caught up in the air. Because that's what the Lord said. So we read the next scriptures and what does it say? They're the ones that hid themselves and said to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne. There again, we know why they're running. Why are they? We will be running to the Lord. We will be caught up with the Lord. The people who are running are running. Why? Because they're the ones who denied him. They're the ones who realize judgment is coming. And in this case, right, it's imminent. <clears throat> now we can speak about imminence. Because these other events have been, you know, had occurred or been, been have been occurred or occurring or had occurred. <laughs> As we read the scripture, right? <laughs> so, so. Only those people are going to be running and begging for death. Rocks fall on me. Mountains fall on me. Kill, kill me. Take me out. Because I don't want to have to face him that sits on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb. Who sits on the throne? The Lamb of God. The only person worthy to receive glory and honor. The wrath of the Lamb. Again, the word wrath here. The word wrath in this instance is <clears throat> the it's the type of wrath that's is this is this what what would you what would you imagine? Is this quick? Is this uh long lasting or is it the wrath that's that short and full of rage? Well we know that this this is the beginning, right? So this is the beginning 
of the long-standing wrath, right? Because we 